lights, even stoplights, blink a bright red and green as the shoppers rush home with their treasures. Hear the snow crunch, see the kids bunch, this is Santa's big scene, and above all this bustle you Lovely. 
Good evening. We'd like to welcome everyone to St. Mark's United Methodist Church. I'm Kenneth Gelsizer, the pastor. We just have a couple of announcements that we would like to make. Uh, first of all, everyone should have a candle. And if you do have a candle, if you don't, there's candles on the side there and in the back. But when it's time to light the candles, um, the, the candle is lit, hold it straight up. And then the candle is unlit, just turn it to the side and light it, and then pass it on to the person uh, next to you. I also want to make note our collection plate, and also we have a basket here for the tornadoes that hit the six states in the Midwest. Uh, many of the churches and many of the homes were destroyed. And if you'd like to make out a check, make it out to St. Mark's UMC and put on the little left-hand corner tornado, or cash, and then our collection plate uh, right there. Uh, we want to thank Brendan for putting together a lot of the music this evening, and also J.R. Schmidt, who is our uh, soloist who came, and also our choir. Uh, they've been doing a wonderful job, these ladies. Uh, each lady has a different tone that really blends in with everything, but uh, we want to thank them as well. So let's. This evening, um, for our meditation, it's kind of interesting. Every year when we come together, the pastor gives a short meditation about Christmas time. And this evening, as we gather together, for the past four weeks during Advent, each Sunday had a designation of hope, love, peace, and joy. And then the center candle will be the Christ candle that we will light this evening. As we look at our scripture lessons and the music, listen to each word, each sentence, because our program this evening will take us through the incarnation, the birth of Christ. 
You know, it was 2,000 years ago when the people of Israel were calling out for the Messiah. They wanted a leader to come and to deliver them from the Romans, to restore them. But little did they expect that God had a different plan. He wasn't going to send a general or a rich man or a powerful man, but sent a baby, Jesus. And so in Bethlehem, as Mary and Joseph gathered there, there was no room in the inn for them. And so they basically went to a cave or to a stable, and there, at that time, the, the baby was born. You know, as we gather together, there are many wonderful testimonies uh, that come out. And I think the most dramatic one that I have heard recently, especially with the tornadoes, when the tornadoes were coming through um, the towns of uh, the states of Kentucky and Illinois and the others out there, um, this tornado was approaching this one city and the grandmother and the mother knew that there was danger coming. So they took the 15 month old baby <coughs> and the three-month-old baby and put them in a bathtub. And in the bathtub, they gave a pillow and a blanket. And this really blows my mind. They put a Bible on top of them. Well, everyone survived the tornado, but the house collapsed, completely fell on the children, on the, the adults, but they were all alive. No one was killed. But the amazing thing when the first responders took all the rubbish off of the children on that uh, bathtub, the first thing that they saw was a Bible. This evening as we come and worship and we sing together and study scripture, the birth of Christ is one of the most important messages that we can give out. We need Jesus in our lives. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. It's kind of interesting when we begin to um, look at the songs that we are singing this evening. O come, all ye faithful, joyful, and triumphant. O come, O come ye to Bethlehem. O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dr dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. And then it goes on. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild. God and sinners reconciled. The first Noel the angels did say. With certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay. Noel, 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 Noel. Born is the king of Israel. And one of our favorite hymns during the Christmas season is Silent Night. The words were written by Joseph Moore and the music by Franz Gruber. And it was a time in 1818, right after the Napoleonic Wars in Europe. Europe had been torn apart. Cities were destroyed. Battles had occurred. And this Austrian priest in a little church <coughs> put together these words and the music was put together and it was sung in a little, it's a little chapel right near Salzburg. We have a little copy of the, of the chapel. It's very small. But as the organ um, gentleman who came to work on the organs came, he heard the song and took the music and he went from town to town taking the music and passing it on to other churches and it's passed down to us today. The great message that we have this evening that Jesus Christ was born, that he came into this world for salvation. He died on the cross for our sins. He arose from the grave three days later, ascended into heaven, and is sitting at the right hand of God to come back and to usher in the kingdom of God. Well, this evening I pray that this message will touch your heart. That you can have Christ come into your heart this very night. Because I think what we need in our world right now with all of the confusion, with everything, with COVID, with the economy, everything, we need to get back to Jesus Christ. That is the answer. 
One of the great things about the church and ministry is it reaches out and it touches those that are in need. We need to take care of the poor. We need to take care of the elderly, the children. We need to take care of those that are in need. And so on this evening, it is important for us to sing joy to the world. Actually, the minister that wrote that hymn was sickly as a child. And when he became an adult, he uh, <clears throat> was sickly as well, and his congregation began to grow. <coughs> and he wrote that song, Joy to the World, as well as other 600 hymns. So this evening, as we prepare to hear the scripture lessons, the lighting of the candles, and also um, the hymns, look at each word and realize that Christ the child was born so that we could have salvation. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, as we come and worship this night, we welcome home. We come home to your house as a family. And as we come together, we lift up our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And now we'll have the lighting of the Advent wreath and Christ's candle. today is from Isaiah uh, 9 to 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who live in the land of the deep darkness, on them light was shined. You have multiplied the nations. You have increased the joy. They rejoice before you as joy at the harvest, as people exalt when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken in the day of Melban. For all the hoofs of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulder, and he is named Wonderful. Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and the kingdom. He has established and unfolded with justice and righteousness from this time forward and forevermore. This is a night to remember, a night when home broke in on us, a night when we were not forgotten or alone or abandoned. This is a night when we are home, in this family, in the God who loved us enough to walk beside us. We gather in the night to proclaim the light. We shrug off despair and embrace hope. We set aside conflict and choose peace. We push away despair by, pro by claiming joy. We overcome hate by rising into love. We light this candle. We light this candle to declare that unto us the Savior is born, who is Christ the Lord. We light this candle hoping to become this light, to radiate this light by how we live, to create a space called home, 
in this place. It's time to be home. <coughs> called Nazareth, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. She was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what sort of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be since I am a virgin? The angel answered. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God.
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn a son she wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them
are shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. And 
of all humanity. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Thank you. 
Here's the basket for the bird candles. We used to have a basket for the bird candles. As we come to the close of our service, once again, we want to thank Brendan, uh, J.R. Schmidt, um, the choir, Lois, Maria, Ruth, Diane, and Megan for <clears throat> working these past couple of weeks of putting the music together. The theme for these past couple of weeks and tonight is to come home. And we looked at the topics of hope, love, peace, and joy. And you know, it's been kind of interesting. The past couple of days, I've been coming across on my travels some very nice people, you know, sharing their stories of loss, of sharing their stories of success. And I thought for a prayer why we are gathered here this evening is to have the Apostles' Creed. That is what we believe in. So let us pray. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence you shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Thank you.